Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want to uh, thank you for uh, joining me in my YouTube of the Me Dion, the most extremely rare painting of the planet. This is the more mature, older Mona Lisa, the new painting that the world's been talking about. It is a painting which I found, which is of um, a uh, love affair that Leonardo da Vinci had uh, with art and cartoons and portraits and cartoons and stories and diaries. This painting is a diary. It is over 567 years old. And this is the single portrait of the Mona Lisa. This is when she was young in her teens, if so, and this is when she was a full adult woman. And it's got um, lots of uh, hidden, exact, duplicate cartoons and paintings within. Again, this is an L, this is an E, and there's an O, and then he makes a dash for an N, and then he has an A, and this is an R, okay, and a D, O, Leonardo. There's also a black M here, and an F. Stands for Melzi Francisca. Also within this is also going to be Sali, and I'll show you that in my x-ray. And I'll also show you that when I take the Mona and I flip it upside down, this is a bear drinking water in the lake. That's one of his cartoons. Now, within this, you're also going to see that in this area, upside down, is a man playing music with a guitar of a young boy as a cartoon and as a portrait. Now, I'm going to take this one and flip it upside down, as I said, so you don't think I forgot already at my 60 years old age. <laughs> and I'm going to put it over here. <laughs> and when you get older, trust me, trust me, you will find... Do you see the bear? This is the bear. See the bear? There's an eye. Here's an eye. There's a nose. This is the bear claw. And this is the bear claw. And it goes. Now there's a lot of hidden other items in here like this. Turns into a bear. Turns into a person. Turns into a bear. Turns into a person that's nested inside and then there's bodies and builds within and each time you turn this even if you turn it a 90 or you turn it um, 45 or circle or one degree the image changes dramatically okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it off to the side just to show you one of his comics oh just excuse me just before that we're going to concentrate on this area here, which is going to be in here, in this one, which is the Mona, the Mona of the younger Mona of the single portrait. And I'm going to show you, whoops, I'm going to show you the, um, item in which is in this picture is actually in this area in my painting that's going to match. Now I take this, I'm going to slide this down. Now you're going to see right here 
you'll see this straight line here. You see this dot, 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 right here? Okay. This straight line is the back of his neck, and it runs over like this in stars, and that's his face. And his face also aims down this way. In other words, he makes a move, kind of like a singer on stage bouncing his head up and down. Okay, some are highlighted different under different layers of x-ray. This rod here with this ovalish piece is many different things, okay? But in a certain distance, it's a guitar. Okay, so what I'm going to show you this guitar is going to be this guy right here. His face, here's his eye, here's his nose, here's his white part of his face, aiming down. Here's his guitar, here's his leg that zigzagged with his foot, and here's his other. You can see him. You see him? Please tell me you see him. I can't hear you. Okay, anyway, here's, here's the guy. Okay, that's only one item that's going to match 100%. And I'm going to overlay him over the guy that we we're just talking about there he is a hundred percent he fits a hundred percent in there now here comes here comes a bigger kicker as you're gonna see I'm gonna let you see that and and drool about it I hope you're drooling because what you got here is a very expensive painting of mine. That is the twin to the Mona, but hidden under different chemicals of his. Now, if you pull this down and you take a look at this larger circle that veers over here and stops, but you can see that there was something here. Okay, now in the prior other YouTubes, which I have over 300 now, there's markings he will give you. This is a huge, huge marking on this one that he's given so much. How come? Maybe somebody upstairs is trying to give me some help. Now, which I believe. I pull this down. And you can see this circle that runs around and stops here. You see? See the circle? But there's nothing here. But you can see a big shadow. But there's nothing here in general that you see. But I do see. Because when you do take this, this is where he shows you when you drop a puzzle piece in, it fits. There it is, the full circle. It fits. Fits right in the groove. Fits in the match. Okay, and it even gets better. You ready? Okay. If you see these, these, these words that run across, kind of like a half moon, here's the half moon shape in here. Okay. If you take a look, let me match this up again. Here, right here, S A, it looks like an L A I for Sali. That's who lived with him till 1518. I could be stand to be corrected. It might also be Salinas, but I do believe that's an L. I have to look more. But this S is the one we're really going to pay attention, and it's going to come up in black. If you take a look, how she he still matches 100%. And I pull this down, here's the S, I pull it back, there's the S. So it starts here and zigzag and goes to the bottom. There's the bottom and it zigzags and goes up. That's done in black. That's his tricks. Now black is a color. It's a very good hidden color. 
Now, if you put this back up and try to match the same letters to be in here, that means this has to be looking similar to an A. But not necessarily, but it does. But it, not necessarily, because what he does, he throws numbers over or letters over the top, which confuses you because he'll write right over the top um, like 100 different letters over the same number. And if you're fortunate, you will come up with the match like the S, or you'll come up with the playing cartoon man with the guitar. Now, if you actually really look at this S, can you see it? You look at this portion right here. That's an eye, an eye, and a nose, and a little mouth, and it's flying. Okay, it is actually flying. That's like a little woman's face, a puppy dog face, all kinds of little trinket things you can get out of that. Now, when you put that back up in here and match the guy back up into the right spot, okay, pull it back down. That's where it is. Go back so you know you got the exact spot. You pull it down. Now, she's going to move, and I'll tell you why. You see the circle of where she is, an eye, an eye, a nose, and a mouth. But she's also right here, 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 eye, eye, nose, mouth. She's also even highlights better here, 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 and here. Why? Because on my other YouTubes, if you follow, after you put this up here, you're not going to only find the guitar man here, right here. You're going to find him over here. He flies, okay? He makes his... He ma he makes his portraits match 100% as a movie. So when you get this back in here and you go back for the woman or doggy or image in which you see that makes you feel like there's some kind of life of some sort or um, happening, you can see that there's a lightness in here and another one and another one and you can see these little dots that float around so he tells you which way to go and the reason why he doesn't make it a straight line because nobody walks on a straight line like on a conveyor belt so when it goes you follow which is hard for me to do you you go like this so you have enjoyment in the movie of the painting of the movements okay so that's how you have life in the in it and that's how you make your images like the Mona Lisa follow you across the room and that's also how you turn around and make her blink and make her smile and there's images in here that I've seen them open their mouth and show their shiny teeth and uh, I've seen them uh, look up I've seen them look down I've seen the, the lady which I call the dancing lady, uh, uh, the walking dancing lady, and I've seen her uh, sh uh, shifting her hips um, like a sexy woman uh, would do, uh, and um, uh, that uh, um, there are special um, uh, beautiful little uh, ways of them. Now, if you actually take a look at this, here's a lightness in here with do, and an eye, and an eye, and a nose of this image, and you pull it back down. Now, you can see how my image, right here, this main one, and then you see the outline, how it will fit in here. And it moves across. So when you put this in here and slide it across, look at this, look at that. It fits. He also changes the portraits of it. So you put this down, you see. Now it's going to get a little, a little bit better. If you take a look at this little piece here, and it has this ear off and this ear off, you're going to see how it fits in here with the ear and the ear when it fits with the guitar guy. So I put the guitar guy back back up here. Now you're going to see two guitar guys if you really pay attention. There's actually two in there because there's one here, guy behind him, 
There's one here, and I guarantee there's probably one up in here, and it goes endless. But here's the ear, the, the, the one that we're, we're talking about. Get it set. My hand hurts. Sorry. Okay. There, there it is. I pull it down. There it is. Exactly in the spot. This painting, I'm going to... Pull it on down and show you this is the x-ray okay this is of my man face in an x-ray of this area and going out this whole thing which is this so he's here so this is his face doesn't show his hat too much and she's over down in here but this is an image that is of the same that is in one of my other YouTubes which is identical to another finding that is the match this is actually a smaller version of the main one here and it keeps going so you would have one of these in a micro dot that keeps growing on top of each other to make the big main which is getting a little confusing for you, and i um, sorry to say. Now that word Sali, here it is, written out in my painting, in the x-ray, S-A-L-A-I. Okay, and it actually kind of represents an, uh, a U, um, but... Um, uh, I'm presuming that I don't have, uh, uh, I had too much x-ray taken out of, so it um, is uh, representing an upside down A also. And if you take a look, there's an I and an I and a nose, and a lot of his A's, then when he fakes them in, he makes a man type face to equal an A. He's very, very tricky, okay? So, we got that particular part out of our way, which is definite, and we have this particular one, which is mine, which we're going to go out of the way, and then we're going to show you this particular one, which is the upside down one, which is the same as what's behind it, but this is of a different res uh, resolution, which actually has um, a lot more stuff. Now, if you look this, this is the smaller version of this bigger version. But if you look within, within here, he's flying. Okay, This is actually little people in here that are flying. He's having fun. And if you know anything about Leonardo da Vinci and heard about him in flight, um, he loved to fly. I think he was an excellent comic. He was an excellent artist, an excellent friend, one with a great heart. I've seen him as Santa Claus in my painting with green elves. Uh, and green elves about 2,000 years ago, uh, that's what they believed the color of elves were. And you can YouTube, uh, not YouTube, uh, Google to find that out. And this is the Mona. To prove that's the Mona, I'm going to shrink it down and show it to you upside down. See? And that is the Mona, which I'm going to flip around for you. And so you don't get dizzy. <laughs> you don't get dizzy. Okay. I hope you had a great Halloween. I helped over 100 uh, kids, or they helped me have my great life of my uh, once a year. is my funnest time. I gave away probably 250 toys, all new. And um, looking to give out about 300 of them to the fire victim kids um, down in Petaluma at the fairgrounds. Or, and if not, that doesn't work because they're going home, then they can save it for Christmas for the kids. Again, I told you many a times I do warehouse buyouts. And out of my warehouse buyouts, um, I do used to buy truckloads um, as as low as $100 for a 14-foot box truck. 
I used to buy compulsive and uh, the, that was many years ago uh, 30 years ago and I'm a compulsive buyer still I love antiques I, and I never have time to examine and I accidentally come across this you'll have to listen to some of my YouTubes of how I come across it in a in, uh, in the findings to look deeper into it and you'll also have to find out about uh, the, the over, over 300 YouTubes that um, what other findings I have found that are just as exciting as what we are uh, looking at today I want to um, always throw these words at you at the end of our YouTube I want to say God bless the whole world, the whole universe, and the heavens, and you have a safe night, and please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thank you very, very much. Amen.